All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, so last time I uh, found out how far you could take a Rad Rover just on throttle alone. Well, today I'm gonna find out how far you could go if you also pedal, if you just use power assist level one. So if you were trying to do long distance commuting, I don't know if maybe you had a job 40 miles away or something, and this is your only option, or maybe you just wanna like do like an epic voyage and you wanna see how far you could go in between uh, charging it up and just uh, you know see so today I'm gonna go check it out I'm going to try to find a loop and uh, not too hilly hopefully and see if I could get about 40 miles out that'd be great that's what it says it's between 20 and 40 miles so last time I got almost 20 on just throttle let's see if I could get 40 with pedaling on pedal assist one all right let's see what we can do Now I got the wind in my back. I turned around, I'm going the other way. Alright, just dropped down a bar, we're at six, it was at 6.2 miles, it dropped down a bar. Dropped another bar at about nine miles. I'm starting to get tired. I've been pedaling pretty hard. All right, we're down to two bars, 14.7 miles. And I gotta say, at this point, my ass has been taking a pounding over all these bumps. So I don't know. Unless you're into that type of thing, uh, just look into like a seat option or something. Or you might want to go for one of the rad power bikes with like a suspension would probably help out a bit all right all right we're at 18 miles it just went down to one bar not looking good 40 miles i don't know i don't think so 20 miles one bar 20 miles one bar 24.2 miles, still got one bar, this last bar is going to last forever, I don't think this last bar is going to get to 40, my ass is killing me, 27 miles now, ass is really taking its toll, all this ass pounding, I feel like there's a really bad joke to go in there somewhere. Oh, my, I'm tired, man. My ass hurts too much to even think. Uh, yeah, definitely. One is okay. You could do about 20 miles an hour average, I would say, with putting in, like, a decent amount of work. Like, if you had no problem and, you, you know, you're in shape, you could probably average 20 miles an hour if it's, like, you know, level ground, the wind is... You know, not a factor. I'd say 20 miles an hour is a pretty, you know, sustainable goal that you can do. Uh, it's not too windy here today. It's a little breezy. I've definitely noticed when it's at my back, I'm, I could easily go like 21, 22 miles an hour, and when I'm going into it, it's more like 17. But my legs are getting tired and. Definitely would be a lot more fun if I put this on uh, power assist level 5. But for science and for you guys, I'm really just pushing my body to the, to the limits like a true American hero. Alright, we're at 30.7. Still got that one bar. So that's not accurate at all. You would think I would have remembered from the last video I made, but. Uh, I don't remember anything, so I'm still surprised that I'm getting this many miles out of one bar, and I still don't know when it's going to die, but so far so good. Alright, battery is starting to blink now, and I just felt the first power outage. 31.4 miles. I'm going to keep driving a little bit, see if I can eat out a little bit more, I'm going to head home and see what I'm at when I get there. 
Yeah, okay, so it's 31.4. Now when I even try to go to pedal, it doesn't do anything. It's not giving me any assist anymore. So 31.4 miles is the official PAS1 range. So here's another good part of the video is that now I have to pedal it. I just went up a hill. The easiest pedaling, doing about four miles an hour. It's kind of hard to see, but it was it's actually kind of tough. Now I'm on a straight hill, it says I'm doing about six. This is easy. So you can still pedal this thing after it dies. It is a lot heavy. It is pretty heavy. Sorry, I'm out of breath from that hill. Ooh, I'm a fatty, fatty, fat, fatty. Uh, but yeah, you could, let's see, I'm gonna, here's a straight, straight away, I'm gonna see what I can do here. Say about 11 miles an hour, that's not too bad on a straightaway. I mean, I figure that's about what you'd get on a, not a road bike or anything, but still, it's not too shabby. So I was just pedaling it for a little bit, and now it kind of came back to life a little bit. I'm not sure if uh, me pedaling it was regenerating energy or not, but it seems like it was. So I guess if you run out of juice, you could just do that and maybe get a little bit more juice.